Divi comes with hundreds of pre-made layouts, but most people use these wrong. Let me show you what I mean. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new. Now we can name this page whatever we want. I'm just gonna call this Mac and then click on use Divi Builder. Now in most cases, people build from scratch. And if you watch my tutorials, you notice that I built from scratch. But this time we are coming over here to choose a pre-made layout. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of pre-made layouts. You can come over here and you can actually search these by categories. You can go to art and design. We can even go to business. I mean, there's they so many we can choose here. The challenge is, or what most people do is, they choose these layouts based on the name. So for example, if they wanna build a marketing website, they would come over here and choose this marketing layout. But that's not the correct way of doing it. You need to choose these layouts based on the structure. So you have to love the structure and you can turn this into any type of website. Now, let me show you what I mean. Now we have a jewelry uh, artist here, but I bet you most people are going to think, okay, I wanna choose this because it's a jewelry website. That's the wrong move. I'm gonna now show you what we can do with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this layout here, click on import. So now the layout or the structure of the website is going to be imported onto this page. And I wanna show you instantly how you can change this into a farming website. But before I continue, I'd like to remind you that if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my DV Jumpstart course. This is a course that will teach you how to design professional looking websites with DV, saving you hours of searching how to use DV online. Okay, so we have our layout here. Uh, imported. The next step is to come over here. So we don't know what the designer did to come up with this layout. So the best way to use these pre-made layouts is to come over here to this feature called, in fact, you click these three little dots and then you want to come over here and click on view modified styles. So what happens now is Divi just shows you the areas where things changed. And here I can see we have a background color, we have a gradient and we have a background image. So I want to go straight to the image here. So first of all, delete this, and now let's add our own image. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, and the image I'm gonna use is this one right here. I'm gonna select that, upload image. Now instantly, I'm sure you can agree with me, this now has changed from a jewelry website into a farming type website. Okay, so now that I have this, the next step now is to just save, because so far everything just looks okay. Now over here, I need to go in and change where it says handmade jewelry by Jane. So I'm gonna call this uh, Max Farm, or let's call this Organic Farm. Let's make it fancy. There we go, Max Organic Farm. And then over here, we can, in fact, you know what? We can even go in and customize this text. So let's make it bold. There we go, so that's looking much better. And the line height, let's increase this a little bit. In fact, 1.2 is fine and save. Next, over here on the bottom, this is where you can go and add your description if you want to. And then uh, the button here, we can customize it. We can link it to wherever we want. So at the moment it's not linked. So we can just go in and add a blank link and save. And we also have a bit of text which you can go in and also customize. All right, so this main hero area is looking great. I'm happy with that. Now let's continue on. Over here we have uh, Divi Jewelry. So I'm just gonna say um, farm produce. There we go, save that, add your description here. And then next I'm gonna come in and change my image. So I'm gonna go in and choose an image. Now I preloaded some images here already. I'm gonna click upload image. There we go, I'm gonna save that. Let's get rid of this one as well. So this time I'm just gonna delete that, duplicate this, drag this over to the right. And then I'm gonna go in and change this one here. So for this, I wanna change it to this one right here, upload image, there we go. So that's looking great already. And take a look here now. If I go back to the top, you can see that the uh, theme of the website has now changed from jewelry to farming. So look at that, looking great. Okay, so uh, this here is about uh, wool, uh, wool commerce. We don't have any products here, so I might as well just go in and delete this section here because we don't have these products. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, these are just images. So the cool thing here is we can go in and delete the stuff that we don't like. And then over here we have new arrivals. Again, this is to do with e-commerce. There's a slider here. I don't need that for now. So I'm gonna keep the newsletter and also add a bit of uh, images here. So let's go and add our gallery. 
I think this is what the uh, author intended here. So we're going to add our images, see how they look. Add this one here as well. But you know what's cool is we can actually go in and add our own images. We don't have to um, use uh, this style that we have here. We can actually delete this and add our own gallery. In fact, let's go ahead and do that so, so that you can see how easy it is to go in and customize these layouts. So I'm going to leave the newsletter part as it is. And then I'm going to add a new section. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on this plus button and we're going to go single column. And in here, we're going to add a gallery. There we go. Now let's start adding our images. So I'm going to click on this plus button. Now the cool thing with the gallery here is all I do is select all the images that I want and hit select. And all my images now are going to be added over here to my gallery. Look at that. Now I know you're probably saying, well, that doesn't look very exciting. Well, we can further customize this by coming over here to design, layout. So here we have grid, which is good. So what we may want to do here is to increase the width of this row. So let's go to sizing and we are going to make this 100%. And let's make this 100% as well. So now it's spanning across uh, the whole uh, page. So what I'm going to do next is to remove the gaps between the images. So I'm going to activate use custom gutter width and then set this to one. Now look at that. This is looking much, much better now. See that? Now we can see here we have uh, the description of the images. I don't like that. So we are going to remove that by, let's save this first. So let's remove that by going into the gallery here and elements. So I don't need pagination and I don't need the caption. So all I'm going to have now is just the images. Look at that. So finally, I can now go in and change the hover, I mean the uh, overlay by coming over here to design overlay. And my icon here needs to be white. And then my overlay background color is going to be black. And I'm just going to add a bit of transparency. Look at that. So you can just uh, pretty much test this by changing the transparency and then hovering over. Look at that. I think it needs to be a bit lighter too. There we go. So I really like that. And then finally, you can uh, come over here and change the, uh, the actual icon. Look at that. It's now a plus. So now I'm going to save. So I think this looks much, much better. So all I have to do now is to save my page. And now let's exit the Visual Builder and take a look at our page. There we go. So I'm going to scroll down and you can see now this design has turned from a jewelry shop into a <laughs> pretty much a plumbing website. Look at the gallery here. I can scroll th uh, through this. Now, I also have something that could help you design your websites faster, and that's your header and footer. So let me show you how to add this. I'm going to come back to uh, my dashboard. In fact, you know what? Let's open this in a new tab so I can show you how easy it is to install my header and footer for Divi. So all I have to do is to come over here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. Next, I'm going to come to Portability by clicking over here. Click on Import. And then I'm going to click on Import Divi Theme Builder Templates. Now, my Divi header and footer is only $7. So when you, once you've purchased it and you've downloaded it, you're going to get a zipped folder that looks like this. And then when you double click on it, it opens up and now you have this folder right here. Go into the folder. And you're going to have these two files. We have the dark and the light version. So to save yourself a lot of time, uh, for now, we're going to go with the dark version. I'm just going to drag and drop it here like that. Now, notice at the moment, this is the normal header that we have. And this is the footer that we have. This is the default that comes in with Divi. But with my header and footer, once you drag and drop it here, click on import Divi uh, header and footer or template. It only takes a few seconds. And now it has been installed. So all I have to do now is to click on Save Changes, come over here. Now let's refresh our page by doing that. And just like that, we have a new footer and we also have a really cool header. Now all I have to do now to this header is to change the colors. Now, of course, these colors don't work great because this is a farming website. So we need some colors here that work with that theme. So let's go into our header. So I want to show you how easy it is to go in and customize it. And by the way, it's only $7. Okay, so I'm in my builder now. I'm going to click here to, my to go to my section settings, go to background. And we are going to change this color here to black. Or we can even go with um, 
any color here that works with uh, our farming theme. So let's go with uh, let's go with that. I think that works great. Okay, so once we have that header done, I'm going to save this. Save this one more time. And let's close out of here. Save changes. And now if I come to my site and refresh, look at that. Now the color of my header has changed. So it's very, very easy to go in and customize. Look at that. It even shrinks. And customizing the footer is pretty much the same thing. You can change your color over here. Now, the final thing you need to do is to add your logo. And to add your logo, you want to come here, go to theme options, and then you want to click on upload to upload your logo. So I'm going to come over here, click on select files. So here's my logo. I'm going to double click on it and then click on set as logo, save changes. So now I'm going to refresh and look at that. Now my logo has been added and it has automatically been added also to the footer. There it is. So this is how easy it is to use these pre-made layouts to create your pages. So just make sure that you need to fall in love with the structure of the pre-made layout, not necessarily what it's made for. And you can easily change it to any type of website as I've shown you in this example. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.